I have actually never looked at the author before. But what is? He's like a zero to a hundred in a split second. He looks like a velvety stuffed animal, but he always bites. His uh, well-known love bites are something. He likes to play peekaboo. He goes inside the house and then out again. He's just everywhere, all over the place, all the time. Uti still has a lot of the wilderness inside of him. And I am really happy. They saw him out of the open sea, far away from any land. There was a family from Sweden actually, that uh, came here to our island with their sailing boat. And he was crying out, swimming for his life. He was being chased by an eagle. They wanted to wait in the distance and see if his mother was going to show up, but she didn't. So then they contacted my wildlife rescue. And I went to meet them and he was so small. He had probably just opened his eyes. He needs to be taken care of. So he moved in with me for the 24 first hours. He was very tired. He just slept. And then when he started to eat, he was very dependent on me. I used to lay inside there with him and we could like take a nap together and everything. It was just cuteness overload. I spent a lot of hours with him every day to make him feel secure. And Otis just opened up. Now, whenever I go to his cage, he comes to the door and he's happy to see me makes noises like a guinea pig and lays down on his back and wants me to rub his belly a little bit. But he's not like a dog or cat. He's very rowdy and he loves to play. He likes to bite when he plays. He listens if I tell him to stop, but then he's back to biting again. <laughs> yeah, it hurts sometimes. But we have a really good relationship. Now when he has gotten older, we try to keep the social interactions as low as possible. He is being released in a couple of months. Our goal with our rescue animals is always that they go back to nature where they belong. But it was a really cool experience. Now he's a chunky, soft little guy who roams around a lot, just enjoying life. And he's definitely going to be the hardest of all my animals to set back to the free. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible. It's time to watch more.